Wowee! I'm getting excited about eyeshadow. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and kind of a hodgepodge favorite this week. Like I was loving warm tones. I was loving kind of like pinky colors. I don't know, just sort of like random favorites. I really can't think of a particular theme that I noticed that I was grabbing for. Um, yeah, just some goodies. So let's get to it. Okay, so first off, warm tone favorites. I was really loving this palette from ColourPop. I wore this on Thanksgiving and thought this was so pretty. This is the ColourPop California Love palette. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful. So I really wore a lot of different colors from this. Like I would say, this one is one of my very favorites. This is stunning. I mean, like so light catching and metallic, beautiful. I have a little bit of this um, glitter on my eyes today, but then I have another glitter. So I will show you that one in a second. Look how pretty, oh my goodness. And then there was one day that I just wanted a little bit more warmth in my eye look. So I grabbed this one and this one, and it just like instantly added that kind of um, orangey, rusty sort of a tone to the look. Beautiful. I will say this um, first metallic -y shade that is so light catching, it is pretty like loosely packed in the pan. So I mean, it kind of gets your palette a little bit messy looking, but it's a beautiful shadow and it's one of my very favorites. So I don't notice any problems working with it. I just noticed that the palette looks a little bit messy with it, but that's not a big deal to me at all. Look at that glitter. How beautiful. The mattes are easy to blend as always. I love ColourPop palettes and shadows. I think they're awesome. So this one is stunning, even not using a setting spray, but using a setting spray like I have. Oh, I do have this on my lids today. It just is so like super duper melted metal looking. Stunning. I love it. And then a palette that I got a while back that I really haven't played with a ton. I think I bought it during a sale. I can't even remember when it was. Um, is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. So I don't know why I really hadn't like played with it a ton, but I really did enjoy it this past week. And this is so beautiful. The outside packaging is gorgeous. So there's what it looks like. It's a long palette, obviously. So um, I find it a little bit, you know, difficult to like store. So that's the only thing with it. I think it's a unique shape to it, but it's a little bit more difficult to store. So, I mean, it's fine, it still works, but look how pretty. So this one right here, gorgeous. Okay, now I remember, I have this one on first and then I have a little bit of that ColourPop shadow, kind of more on the inner corners of my eyes. Not like here, but like on the inner part of my lid. But look at this one, same thing. So light catching metallic, what? That is beautiful. This one is gorgeous. I mean, these shimmers are so buttery and just super intense. I love this one right here. I have a little bit of this on the outer corners of my eyes. And then I also wore this one and then this one. So I would say those are the main ones that I reached for from this palette. Wowee, look at that. That is super pigmented. I mean, there is no lack <laughs> No lack of pigmentation in this palette. The quality is just like incredible. The mattes are so pigmented. They are not difficult to blend. They wear well. Wait till I show you these swatches. It's like shocking. Other than where I'm making it all kinds of funky looking on my knuckles. All kinds of funky, but... <laughs> Hopefully you get the idea there. It's beautiful on the eyes, so gorgeous. I mean, look at those. That is intense and that's dry. That's not any kind of a setting spray used with it. Wow, wow, wow. And that one, woo. <laughs> I'm getting excited about eyeshadow. This is beautiful, such great quality. They go on sales periodically. And it makes me, not, like now that I'm sitting here swatching it, I mean, I knew I liked it when I was using it, but now that I'm swatching it, I'm like, oh, I think I want more from Colored Rain because that's pretty incredible. 
so pretty. And then one more palette. Clearly I was really enjoying eyeshadows, which I always enjoy eyeshadows. I just get so excited about playing with eyeshadow and just eyeshadow palettes. I mean, they've always been my first makeup love and always just make me super happy. So I was really enjoying eyeshadow palettes this week. So also played with another ColourPop palette. No shocker there. This is the Flutter By palette. Here's the actual palette. Here's the outside box. Okay. I know I've talked about how impressed I always am with ColourPop's designs, their packaging, just how much detail they put into everything they come out with, but this one might be my favorite so far. This collection is absolutely stunning. So I ordered the palette and then also one of the um, jelly shadows and they sent me the whole collection, which was so exciting so sweet of them it totally made my day so i got to see the whole collection and it is just all beautiful there's these little like shimmery details and metallic details running through it so it just catches the light and it is just beautiful it's this pinky lavender oh i love it so much so i mean just the packaging alone just makes me smile and then inside are just these beautiful like taupey purpley colors. So I have a little bit of this glitter on my lids. It is so gorgeous. Oops, didn't take that one off there. Got to get that. <laughs> Hang on. I'm not used to swatching with my thumb as much, so I forgot about that little sucker. Okay, so I have a little bit of the glitter on my eyes and it is this beautiful kind of sugar plum fairy sort of color. I have this as my highlighter today and it is really pretty as a highlighter. I said this before many times. Um, I love ColourPop shadows as blushes and highlighters. I think they just, the formula is so good. It works on the eyes and on the cheeks as well. So look how pretty that is. That is beautiful. What else? Um, ooh, this one is a really pretty taupey shade. Again, it's pretty loosely packed, but I don't notice this one getting, um, the palette is dirty, but you just don't have to like dig into it. It's just very, um, super pigmented and a little bit loosely packed. And then this one is so pretty. It's more of a matte, but then has this shimmer in it that I think is really fun. Oh, this is so pretty. If you're a cool tone shadow gal, you will love this because it is totally that and really good quality version of that. <gasps> Look how pretty. So it's, this one is really cool because it's, I'm usually not a fan of those kind of shadows that are matte, but then with some shimmer in it, but I feel like this one is done well because the shimmer is very subtle, but it's not chunky. So it's kind of this little like hidden surprise in it. And it just kind of barely catches the light, but it doesn't make it chunky and hard to apply or work with. It's just beautiful. And again, look how pigmented that is. I mean, it almost ends up being like a cream shadow. I mean, it's a powder, but it's so pigmented, it looks like a cream shadow. Gorgeous. And it's not one of their um, super shocks. Sometimes they put those in their palettes. It's not that. It's just like crazy metallic and pigmented. It's beautiful. And then kind of a random blush favorite this week. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I do still subscribe to just the $10 a month, or is it $12? I don't know. Ipsy bag, something around there. And I always look forward to it because I love cute little tiny makeup. It's perfect for travel. It's always a fun surprise. So I got this in there and it is a really pretty blush. This is by the brand Dome and the color name is English Rose. So that is my blush that I have on today. And it is that beautiful kind of rosy neutral color that just goes with everything. So it's one that you can just have in your makeup bag you can take it to travel with. I mean, it just, it goes. And it's, it's one of those that like, it looks like it's not super nude. It's not really a super nude color, but it's that, um, gentle, soft, rosy sort of a color that just really looks beautiful and youthful on the skin and pairs nicely with a lot of different things. So Really pretty color, great formula to it, very easy to blend. I would describe it as silky feeling. It feels very silky. It's a soft, well, not overly, no, I wouldn't say, not soft in the like um, loosely packed kind of meaning, but just like soft and silky 
sort of a texture to it. So really good texture to it, beautiful color. And then two different lip favorites for the week. First off was this combo right here. I would say this combo works, but is not like necessarily ideal because the liner is a little bit lighter than the lipstick. Um, but they're both really pretty individually and I did wear them together. So I wanted to mention to you this combo, but I wouldn't say like, ooh, this is a magic combo. They're both just really pretty. Okay, so this liner is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner in Rosewood. Rosewood, so it's a really pretty pink, like a, a pretty bright pink. I really like the formula of these liners. And then the lipstick is one of the Bite Beauty lipsticks, and this is in Radish. This is so pretty. Kind of reminds me, well, maybe not. I was gonna say it kind of reminds me of Revlon um, Cherries in the Snow, but this is a lot more berry. It's really a lot more berry than red. But that same kind of like bright pop on the lips, this is just more on the berry side. Cherries in the Snow is more on the red side, but both that really pretty just like pop on the lips and a statement lip that's so beautiful. And I would say both of them are very kind of holiday, berry, red, raspberry sort of colors. Just stunning. But you see like they're really pretty and they worked, but not like the ideal perfect match for each other, but both really pretty products. So the liner has a really nice creamy formula to it, would totally work to fill in your lips. It's that kind of a liner that has a great formula to it. This is a really nice, creamy, comfortable formula. They do set down to be more satin, so I do think that they're pretty low maintenance. I go ahead and blot this if I don't wanna worry about it, like getting on my teeth or anything. I will just go ahead and blot it quickly and that kind of helps to immediately set it down to more of that satin finish. And then it wears a long time. It stays comfortable on the lips. I love the amuse-bouche lipsticks. I think they are an awesome, awesome formula. And this one's a cute little tiny one. I think I got it in a point perk maybe at some point. I love it. And then Shocker, something else from ColourPop. One of their, ooh, I can't remember what these are called. Oh, it says Velvet Blur lipsticks and this is in Oasis. So this is what I have on my lips right now. So pretty. This is a really gorgeous, I would say warm, rosy sort of a color. Like it's kind of a terracotta rose sort of a shade. So I love it. I feel like it's pretty unique. Um, and I like that it just kind of is a statement but isn't um, like a super bright pink or something, but it still like has a little bit of a pop to it. Very, very nice. Formula wise, this is more of a velvety matte sort of a formula. I like it because I like matte lipsticks. If you aren't a, a matte lipstick person, I don't know how you will feel about this. It's definitely not to the level of like a liquid lipstick or anything like that. It's not setting down like that, but it does have that kind of matte velvet sort of a feeling on the lips. I like it because it's low maintenance. It's just there. I feel like I have like nothing on my lips, but it's not necessarily overly hydrating to it either. But I think it looks nice on the lips. I don't think it looks drying. Um, it's just pretty. So I like the formula of it. I really like the color and pretty packaging. Such nice quality, like weighty feeling and so affordable. So good. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.